Hey guys. hey guys, we're excited as we always are when we get we to get introduce to a new stencil. You're gonna love this. All the things. All the things. That's we need to make that into a, we do. a we Michelle need, stencil. We need a Michelle stencil. This is all the things. All right, so you know we we love home decor stencils. We love bees. We love nature. crowns. We love nature. We love laurel wreaths. We love, but we love stencils that have a mission and that have a purpose and that make our lives richer and really encourage us. And that's what scripture does. Amen. This is a great stencil that you're gonna love, that you to will. one, to be able to make it into a chalkboard, which we're gonna do today, and as well as a pillow, as Michelle is holding, which I'm gonna actually hand color. She's gonna color it. But look at this. Oh, it's so good. I love this. Whatever is pure, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is true, whatever is lovely, look at this, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. And praiseworthy. Think on such things. Is that not something that we all need to think about? That runs in my head often. Like mm. just... Is that true? That's, is that noble? Is, is that, that... Yeah, that's one of those things that I ask myself, especially, you know, we get in our heads and we start to meditate on lies. Mm -hmm. And I have to ask mm -hmm. myself, is this noble? Mm -hmm. Is this true? Is this praiseworthy? Is this lovely? Then it's not of him. Um, and it helps me kind of get out mm. of that negative mindset mm. where Satan's attacking mm. me to say, mm. this is not who my God is. Mm. Mm. It's not truth. Mm. Sometimes we just need to learn to shut her up and remember. And before we speak and just think, is that excellent? Is that praiseworthy? Is that, thank you, Theo. Hey, Theo. Hi, Theo. So we are in love with the stencil, but we're excited because we're going to show you. But also, here's the fun thing. Look at this. Look at this. Look, just taking one Absolutely. of the designs, and is that like the cutest, mm -hmm. just the cutest card? Parking. Just mm -hmm. you can make your own bouquet with excellence. Just look at that. So you're going to be able to use, break it up, Absolutely. and use it on a lot of different things. So we know that you're going to be excited, and you can take advantage of it because our sale is going on this week. Buy three stencils, get one free, absolutely free. Buy all the big ones. That way you get the big a big one for free. And um, that way it's going to save you on, on shipping. So it's all good. Mm -hmm. So we, you know the drill. So we would love for you to share this video and tag three friends. And then that way your name will go on for a drawing because we're going to be giving this away. Yes. And so Friday afternoon we'll be giving this away. For three days, all you have to do is share because sharing is caring. caring. And um, we're going to show you how to do this. So just keep saying hey. And then that way, especially if you're watching this later, just do hashtag replay. And we, we love the love. It makes us, feel, um, makes us feel loved. It does. If you've never tuned in before, this is a maker studio. And we are all about crafting a beautiful life. My name is Amy. And I'm Michelle. And so we're here to bring you on that journey of showing you it's so easy. And it's fun. It really is. And maybe you will like doing this so much, you want to build a business. Or you want to be able to resell things. Or you want to give them as gifts. Or mm -hmm. you just want to do it for yourself. That's okay, too. So, welcome to our tribe. Because we like making things. We, and we do. like doing things with our hands. Being it's crafty. fun. It's fun. All right. So, what are we going to do first? Um, let's do the pillow first. Do the pillow? Okay. Let's do the pillow first. All right, so let's show I'm them. Give this one to Amy. This one. Look at this. So this is a um, this is a, a pillow. It's an oversized pillow that we've done in our brown ink. Do you have that to be able to show them? I do. It right. That one's well Iswani. Should be. Yes. It's a dark, dark, read. dark, dark, dark brown. But it's well Iswani is what it's called if you're looking for it online. And it's really pretty. Look at this. So that way, it allows you to be able to go in. We love doing watercolor on fabric. Yes. It's so pretty, so fun. So it's like you got it out of an, an expensive home decor store. Now, a lot of people would say, I love it just like that. Absolutely. Like, yeah, this is fabulous. 
But um, I'm just going to have fun in color because I love coloring. Yes. And, and then Michelle's going to show you how to make it onto a pillow. Well, and we have other good news, don't we? Should we share with them what's now yes. going to be available? Yes, yes. We have the pillowcases back, my friends. Our 18 by 18 linen pillowcases are back. So I'm actually going to show you just how to do the base design in brown on our new, old new they're pillowcases back. and but the material out of them we paint them we do all we dye them things. and the other thing that we're going to be showing you today we have our can i show, can i hold that no no that baby yes. right there look at this i call them baby paints the baby paints but they're not for babies i mean you can use them for everything but this is our one-step paint and we've added 24 new colors to a maker studio today. So remember, there's the no stripping. The already gave you, there's new ones. Now we've got almost 50. So these are so easy guys, because you can use these to paint picture frames. You don't have to sand it, strip it, or prime it. The best. And these make chalkboards. So we're gonna be making a chalkboard. So you can use these paints on to platters on iron plate. You know, we do that all the time as far yes. as taking old silver platters, making them into chalkboards. It's a ton of fun. It is a ton of fun. And you I can use it. the one-step paint for that. You can't use regular acrylic-based paint for nope, that. No, you can't. All right, so continue to say hey and share this video. Tell us where you're tuning in from. And then now we are gonna turn this down so that way Michelle can um, show you how to use the ink and our brand new stencil that you're gonna want. All right. Here we go. All right, All right. Dear friends. So I have our stencil laid um, tightly to our pillowcase. And, and we've used this before. We have. So a lot of times, like I tell you, I want you to burnish it on and just make sure it's really hugging that fabric. Um, Theo is just having a fit today. He is fit to he's be tied. Everybody wants. He's. He's like, hello, I'm here. Do we have a color that's called Fit to be Tied? No, we but need we one. should. Fit to be Tied. Do y'all say that? Is that something that y'all say? Tell, share and tell yeah, us. Say say, no, Amy, absolutely. That's crazy. I would never say that. We, we say that. We do say that. That's just definitely a Southern thing. So we are using, I'm using Gel Art Ink, and actually so is Amy. And Gel Art Ink is a screen printing medium. And when you push it through the mesh stencil, it really is like the process of screen printing. And so um, you are gonna let it dry two to four hours when you're done with your design. And then heat set it with a iron at 250 degrees or cotton setting dry. You do not want the steam the steam reactivates and sometimes can make it run and you do not want to ruin your design by using steam. You will just, um, we usually use like a terry cloth or another piece of fabric just over um, the design so that the gel art doesn't stick to your iron. You don't want that to happen. It won't come off on the other fabric. You just don't want it to stick to the iron when it's hot. Um, and then roll it around on there for about three to five minutes and you are heat set. So basically what Michelle is doing, she is she is laying down the groundwork for what I am doing over here. That's exactly right. I'm doing step one. So you want to be, if you want to hand color this design, now this would be a great t-shirt too, it guys. It really would. Um, we, we were just tote bag. Yeah, we're or... talking about all the great things that this could be on because this is one of those things that, um, just like when Lily, my daughter-in-law, was saying that she was at church and the woman saw the back of her jacket that, you know, Michelle had done. And she was like, that really encouraged me all day. So it was like, don't think for one minute that our tote bags or our purses or um, pillows in our home. And I, I really, I'm going to share something with you that's been very convicting for me personally um, several years ago. And, and I want to encourage you to do this in your own home is to say, to look around and say, what, what, what all do I have in my home? So that if somebody comes in, there's there's messaging that is encouraging and it's praiseworthy and it's excellent yes. and it's lovely. Yes. Um, things like that in your home. 
So we have, um, I, I like to watercolor. We have a saying, it was a total accident. My daughter was being made fun of at school and they told her she was weird. And mm. she came home and she said, mommy, am I weird? And like, praise the Lord. I said, I sure hope so because normal's boring. And it has become our family motto and we mm. celebrate weird. And we say that at our house. So our family motto is we celebrate weird, normal is boring. And I mm. watercolored our family motto and it is framed and on the wall in our house because yes, my boyfriend's kids are like, are we weird? I'm like, sure hope so. Fit in just fine. My well, dog's weird. My family's weird. We like weird. Well, and that's why it's just so encouraging as far as the message. Absolutely. Of what we're telling our kids. And so. Um, and telling ourselves. Yes, agreed. People call me weird too. I'm okay with it. Yes, I mean, as far as. Um, all right, so. Michelle is almost finished with that. And then we're going to show you kind of the next step of how to be able to make this. Don't know what's going on. Yeah, there's a lot of folks coming in here today. It's a busy place. All right, friends. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna lay that to the side. That needs to dry two hours. And then we have one here. I'm gonna invite you, to, I'm gonna invite you to play. You can play with me. You're inviting me to play I'm inviting you? you to play. So look at this. I gave you all the colors. I, I, I will share. So here's one that you see on the Admirable. So it's literally, guys, it's like, it's like watercoloring. And so I just mixed up my color. You can work with the gel ink and see how we laid that down so it's dry. You, you want it to dry about two hours. And then you're just gonna come into the open areas where the flowers are like this. And that's what you're going to be hand coloring. So, uh-oh, okay. It'll dry, everything dries, it'll dry. So I am, I've gotten just a little bit of my my blue and green and white here. And that's what I'm just mixing this color. I, lo I love blues. I do too. Blue's my favorite color, um, but I love green. So I was taking this into more of a, um, of a green blue. We need something that's kind of like a pink. We need a pink. Um, and, and then- Can we do a yellow? One of them, um, I'll be honest with you. I think we need to be careful with yellow. Okay. Because on this, now, if you're on yours at home, of course, you can do whatever you want. But I think for this, just to be more of a neutral palette, I think it would be good to go into um, blues, greens, browns. The yellow on this would have a tendency to just stand out. Okay. Because we want them to be really subtle. We could go into a pretty pink, I think, with no problem. Um, and I'll share my water if you need some. I'm gonna steal it over here for my little. So I'm gonna go bowl. into this area as far as where it says pure. Now you'll notice as I'm laying my brush down, I like getting just a little bit on the outside, I think because that makes it looks like it's been hand painted. It is being hand painted. Did I hurt your spirit by saying we wouldn't put yellow on this? No. Okay. Just a so little there's yellow. a there's a little bit of yellow. Well, now let me say this: if you wanted to do yellow, I was thinking on these tiny flowers. Yeah, or these well, tiny flowers. Just, just a, and a so, maybe to make it a softer, a softer yellow. yellow. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that'll work. But um, so look at that. Is that not the most fun? Can y'all see that? This might hurt your spirit. <laughs> I didn't yeah. want to hurt you. Now here's the other thing I want you to do when you are painting fabric. Kind of go heavy. Let me lift this up for just Absolutely. a second so they can see this. Kind of go heavy, like at the base of one of them, and then go lighter. And it's okay to even have just negative space. We call mm -hmm. that negative space to where you don't have any there. Then you can come back and even use the ink a little bit um, heavier. heavier. Yep. And then look at that. So that way you've got a almost a full coverage here at the base, and then it goes lighter. So that's just gonna give it that much more variance. Mm -hmm. I could do this all day long. I could too, you know me. I mean, what what is cooler guys than to have these hand painted pillows? I just think that's the coolest. What a great gift for somebody to be able to have this in their home. 
and to be able to refer back to, these are a really nice size too. This would be a great tote bag. I go to the farmer's markets in the summer. That's what Jean and I do on Saturday morning. And I don't like the plastic bags that they give us. Oh, no, 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 no. They're not fun. Take your own bag. So, Always. I do. It's fun to do your own bag. Yes, absolutely. Well, and I love to shop at Aldi, and it's the same thing. They don't have bags there unless you buy them. So, I have some really fun, just fun grocery bags and bags that I put stuff in because I would prefer to use. So, talk to us about what you're doing. So I'm making it really thick here in the center with the pink, and then I'm gonna pull it out. I want so it to be pretty. very pale at the tips, almost like, you know, almost like a white where they're pink in the center and then the tips turn white. Pretty. So I wanna, I want it to be much. That looks so. That just came to life. At the end, just gives it a little bit of depth and. Something I'm actually else. laying just a little bit of copper. Oh, I love copper. In. Can't mess that up. It's my favorite. Love it. I'm loving that with the brown. See, I'm just doing a tiny bit of lighter pink at the ends just to kind of blend it so it's not so harsh. Just pink to white, but just a tiny bit. So pretty. I Guys, don't that you love that? Color in the center. So. Here, let's do this. I know they're like, flip yeah, it? like we're, they're, they're like, friends. guys, y'all are making us read this upside down. So look at this. Isn't that pretty? So this is our so brand simple. new stencil that we're introducing today about whatever is. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It's a great thing for a whole, like you could have an entire t-shirt. Absolutely. Tote bag, pillows. There's so many things that you can use this on. But as we had showed you earlier, if you're just now popping on, just do a part. Just do a part of it. So I'm getting ready to do, as Michelle is going to continuing to color. paint just a little bit, color on this. I'm oh, going good. I wanted to, green. And then... <laughs> Amy was hoarding the green. I wanted green. Then we actually do want to do it. We want to show you on a chalkboard yep. because we love, we love, um, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm going to wait. I think we need to go on and focus on, I showed them. I'm going to show them this. That way I can save that stencil because that other one is wet. So look at the combo that we did. So this is, we just chose that branch and we did excellent, but here's a fun part. We did a combination of silver and gold. gold. Mm -hmm. So overlay them, look at that. Is that not the best? Look at that. So that way using just a nice um, fine, you know, Sharpie, on this would be the cutest letter to get. But I love that. I love these craft envelopes. And I love it with the gold and the silver. Look at that, can you see that? But always when you're doing your stationery, be sure and do an envelope to match. It's always it, fun. It, absolutely, it makes it a lot it more it fun. To the next a, next, level. a totally next level. Oh my gosh, you go girl, look at that. It's so fun to play. <laughs> Look at that. Is that not the cutest? I'm all giggly. Look at that. So Love it. Fun. This is such a classic, elegant design. And it's so... Oh my gosh, I that is so good, you. Michelle. It is so therapeutic to just sit, yes. breathe, yes. and paint. Yes. Because they love take it. on their own oh, life. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love they it so really much. They really do take on their own life. All right, life. so let's show them how to do a chalkboard. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So too. having the um, having the new one step paints on the website. This is an Amy Howard at home. It's my sister company, One Step Paint. Guys, this four ounces goes a long, long way. And we can right here. There it is. I was like, where'd the other one go? It's okay. Um, we painted this board because these can be chalkboards. So this, the color that we're working with is called English Boxwood. It's great. It's great because I love chalkboards that are green. Mm -hmm. I think they're pretty fab. And it's so old school. I know it's very vintage, but I just think it's a nice change from black. Absolutely. I'm well, loving and blues if, and... If schools still have chalkboards, they're green. They are green. 
So talk to everybody that maybe hasn't tuned in before about our stencil. This is a mess, mess? mess? It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mesh adhesive stencil. They are sticky on the back. You peel them off of their solid white backing. And they're also a tri-mesh with a polymer blend. So the polymer is what holds the detailed designs that we're known for. And they are repositionable, washable and reusable. These are not a one-time throw away. They are a Wash it, love it, do it again. Wash it, love it, do it again. That's why it's so great because you can use, you know, some glasses. Oh, oh my gosh, I just thought about this. Uh -huh. You could do some glasses and each glass Has would be word. that one. So you could do true, the, it could go all the way around, then tr you can just duplicate just the word, it all yeah. the way around. Over and over and over. So that way one glass is true, one glass is noble, What and etch them. Yes. Oh my God, somebody please do that. Guys, yes. if you're not part of our Crafting a Beautiful Life group, yes. you need to join it and do these glasses because you'd have eight glasses and each one of them would be a different, a different one. A different... I love that. There we go. I love that. I think we can turn this around I, yeah, so I that way they can see it. I can, can do it upside down. That one's no big deal. It's not, it's not like I have to figure out what it says to do it. Just got to get it covered. So we've made sure that this, all the air bubbles and everything are out, and we are actually going to be working with our I Reckon chalk art. Now, guys, this is totally different. Chalk art is made to where you can create a board, and if you love it, then you leave it alone, and it can become a piece of art. But then when you want to change it and you want to have um, a fall stencil, you want to be able to recreate it, then you can wipe it off with water and start, start over. over. Because it's literally chalk paste. So it's, you're not married to your design. We, and we like doing ombres and stuff to be quite honest, guys. We love the idea. As soon as I'm saying this, gold I know. look good on here. I know, grab me some. Oh, but I'm, we're gonna mix gel art and chalk art? <gasps> no, well, gold, no, chalk art. Hold on, hold on, help me, hang on. I am gonna peel y'all and let it lay back down because the chalk art does dry really fast and we do not want to peel it off. What you doing? I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna put gold over the flowers. Okay, good. Can I do that? Yes, that sounds good. Okay. So guys, did you hear that? So basically when Michelle is doing this, um, we, we, work, we work fast and you wanna work in sections and go in and pull it because you don't wanna do the whole thing It'll and dry. it'll dry in it. And so you do want to go in and lift it. Get some gold in these flowers. So now this is a true metallic chalk art. It's it is amazing. It's amazing. It's, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous gold. And it will kind of set the flowers apart just a little bit. Make them kind of glisten. Okay. We're going to peel. Got it just so that it doesn't. Man, this is stuck stick. down here. I know, right? It's really good. He, I'm like, good oh adhesive. gosh. It's like, I'm I'm tugging, 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 tug, tug, tug. Look at the detail on that. Isn't that not the cutest? Yep. Let it lay Okay, then we're just again. gonna lay that down like that. And we're gonna come up here. The reason we're doing this, again, is if the chalk art dries in the stencil, when you pull your stencil up, your chalk is going to flake off. Yeah. You don't want that to happen. You don't want to lose your design. Of course, if it happens, wipe it off and start over. The it's other thing is deal. also make sure that your paint, when you make your chalk board with the one step paint, you want to make sure that it has dried at two or three hours. Yes. You don't want to just paint it and then put it on fresh. It won't stick. No, it, it won't. won't adhere. I've got too much white in my gold. So I'm gonna get some fresh gold. Now you're putting the gold down in the words. Oh, I didn't do that on the other one, did uh -uh. I? Well, I guess I am. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and pull. Oh yeah. It's hard. That is hanging on tight. It's a hanger. All right, let's do our last words. 
This is too, I think it's great to do if you have grandchildren oh, yes. or children and to be able to do chalkboards like this and talk to them about what it means. Mm -hmm. Anytime there's an opportunity to be able to share um, scripture with your children and talk about the meanings of it and, and how it encourages you and what it was intended for and everything, I think we use that as an opportunity. Love Amen. that. So Lucky pretty. There. Look at this. Yes, so great. Do y'all love it? Do you love it? If you're just now tuning in, um, we want you to know this is a Maker Studio stencil that we are showing you, a brand new design today. And if you share this video and tag three friends, your name goes in for a drawing, and guess what we're gonna do? Give we, it to you. We are gonna give you the stencil absolutely free, and right. we're gonna pay to ship it to you. That way, that will allow you to be able to create a board. And you know what else we're gonna do? Michelle, grab that paint. We're gonna include, we're gonna also send you English boxwood. English boxwood one step paint to be able to make a chalkboard. You can take an old tray in your house, you can take an old frame. Absolutely. Anything. A lot so of you can paint glass with this. So if you have an ugly frame, you can paint the glass and use it just like this board. Amazing. Or you can use the like the particle board type Absolutely. thing or whatever in it, and then that way you don't have to and spend a ton of money to be able to get a chalkboard. I have painted the cardboard in the back of a picture before and used the cardboard as my chalkboard until it went kaput. And then I painted a new piece of cardboard because it was cheap and it's what I had and it looked great. So this would be a great piece of art on a gallery wall in mm -hmm. your home with some black and white photography and maybe a painting. I love this. I really want to encourage us to be able to have scripture as yes. art in our home. It yes. encourages everybody. And then I want somebody in the Crafting a Beautiful Life group on Facebook. Etch the glasses. Please add a glass and do eight glasses with one of each of these. And then let's show you our pillow that we're going to be working on. I am in love. Look at this. We can come back Flowers. and be Flowers. hand painting and creating an adorable pillow to be able to use in our home. All so, the beautiful things. Gosh, love it. Great job, girl. Guys, we hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for tuning in. And please remember, sharing is caring. Share this video because we want to be able to give this stencil Absolutely. to a lucky winner. Have a Tied fantastic day, everybody. Bye. Love you guys.